Like, I actually told Emmerich, I said, I feel like you cheated on us. Yeah. You told us for you told us for four years that this was an essential pipeline and it had to go from Clearbrook to Superior, and that's the only way you could run a pipe. Yeah. And here you bought a I pipeline that neither that. goes from Clearbrook or to Superior. Because yeah. there's this big scandal, and it's it's a, it's a Michigan and Wisconsin scandal too. Is that Enbridge purchased with Kinder Morgan purchased faulty these pipes from the Thailand-based Canada Oil Thailand, oh. and the company is bankrupt. And they're pipes that are and and valves that are were found to be faulty. They have they're cheap. And that's that stuff that's running under. Yeah. That's the that, question. That's what I said. Leach Lake and Fond du Lac need to write letters to Enbridge and say we would like because so what happened is the National Energy Board in Canada discovered this six months ago, issue emergency orders and say, Enbridge, where's those pipes? And Enbridge's lawyers responded in Ju in July and said, give us six uh, some more time. We don't know. What is the slope? The little thing in the in the news about their um, pulled their applications for permits. Yeah, that's what I did. They pulled their application for the sandpiper, but they did not withdraw from the line yeah. three, which is the same corridor. Yeah. And so now they were trying to like they had combined it. So they're trying to make it like you know. So what we're saying is you can't just go to the paper and white out sandpiper yeah. on all your you filings. You got to you got to start from yeah. square one. You know, and that's going to be super expensive. And, you know, so I've been doing the math on this, but they just lost a $7.9 billion pipeline in Canada, the gateway. Oh, and then this one here, you know, so I'm saying is that no travel consultation. They pulled all the permits on that, the uh, appeals court of Canada. Right. <laughs> oh,